from the writer's bench, RTD buses come into play. Mm -hmm. Were RTD buses being bombed already when you started writing? Yeah, they were writing. They, yeah, Alski, I, I remember seeing Alski up a lot. That's why when I started RTD Killers, I made sure that he was the RTD killer. Um, you know, Minor would, would rock buses. Um, I mean, the list goes on. I mean, e even even fools from neighborhoods and stuff were were carving it on the on the, on on the glass or the plexiglass or whatnot or etching their name into different parts of the buses and uh, you know it was just a it was just a place where you could just you know mark your name and it was traveling everywhere. Now you have freight trains that do that. What tools would riders use to ride on buses back then? Um, I used to love a. Uh, a flooded homemade roll-on you know and we made our own markers back then sometimes we made our own ink too you know Tane rest in peace from WCA taught us how to make our own ink do you know who first starts using sandpaper for those giant window scribes oh yeah an RTD killer his name was Kino where were the best spots for bus mobbing and what made them the best? Every spot was the best spot, you know. Sir and I loved Wilshire and Westwood. We used to love the Wilshire line, you know. That was our favorite line. You know, maybe some people loved the Venice line. Maybe some people like Soto. Maybe some, I mean, all RTD killers from, RTD killers are all the Hall of Fame writers and most of them were like the leaders of their own crews. I mean, you should see that roll call. Another callback. Who were the TPD and the ghost unit? The RT police? Yeah. Yes, the RTD police. Yeah, the RTD police, you know, Thompson and Hart. Um, they started, they, they needed to do something, so they organized this, I guess, this ghost squad. I don't, we never called them ghost squad. We, we used to call them UCs, like, you know. Uh, we, we first saw the UCs at the bench, and uh, I, I remember first meeting Thompson, and I made fun of him in front of everybody, and man, he really hated me for that. What did you, you know? say to him? Do you remember? Yeah, I'm like, oh, look at you. You're wearing your flannel. Look at your shoes. I was telling other writers, you can always tell a UC by his shoes. Look at his shoes. <laughs> where, where does he confront you for you to say that to him? At, at the bench. Mm. Yep. He, he, he knew who you he, were already. He didn't confront me. He, he was trying to stay incognito like he he was trying to pretend like he he wasn't a cop but i can see in his eyes that he was fucking pissed at me yeah and i remember seeing his partner Hart. you know would you say the ghost unit started because of your rtd killing mm. i think the rt police probably would say that i we we never thought anything of it they were just elements that, like all other elements in L.A. that we had to overcome. Do you recall some of the first riders that got caught up by the RTD police? No. I just remember hearing stories of different RTD police. Um, they all had their own little nicknames. You can ask other riders about it. Um, I, I kind of felt like those guys were Mickey Mouse cops, you know, and uh, and they really meant to like hurt riders and stuff. And most of these riders were under 18. So to me, they're, you know, not my favorite people. How did bus mobbing change through the 80s, 90s and 2000s? Yeah, you know, I think that through their efforts, they were they were starting to catch riders up and remember like you know the golden age was like from 83 to 88 you know and there was a different era of graffiti from 89 to 94 you know 89 you had the introduction of chaka you you also had the the vocab the international graffiti vocabulary word the heavens coined um, so freeway signs were getting killed. And then, then we went 
into the dark ages right there with tag banging and Fox Undercover and all that bullshit. How and when did bus mobbing end, in your opinion? Yeah, I think when that era changed in 89, the, the golden age and the, the era changed. Rest in peace to bus mobbing, a dead art form in LA graffiti history. Now, moving ahead, at some point, you and Sir discuss going all city. Is that a term used in those days, all city? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, something we learned from New York writers. You know, they were, they, were always, they were always talking about that was their goal, you know, to be all city. Yeah. Like I said before, Sir and I defined all city in a, in a very different way. 